Hi children, today we are talking about chapter 7, Comparing Quantities. This is from class 7, you can see Comparing Quantities. Comparing Quantities, we are comparing quantities. That means we can compare numbers, 2 kilograms, 5 kilograms. So first thing we can see, this ratio. Don't confuse ratio and fraction. Ratio, comparison of numbers by division. We can compare things different ways. Suppose two flowers, we can compare the flowers by their color or by their smell. Or we can compare perfume by their smell, food item by their taste. By eating, we can understand biryani and rice or chapati and paratha, something we can compare. How can we compare the numbers? By eating, we cannot compare the numbers. By looking, we cannot compare the numbers. By smelling or touching, we cannot compare the numbers. By looking, we can see. Combine the best is comparison of numbers by division. 20 and 45. Look here. Example 1. Ratio comparison of numbers by division. All of you write this one. Please listen to me after that you can write. Listen to me while I'm telling. I will, I will give you time for writing. Adil Shatika, Mass. Mass. Chayyumma, Padikumma. Nandu Gandu Bora. Shard, Eyes and Ears, everything. Close your books and listen. Don't write now. 20 divided by 45. 20 and 45, we had to compare. Uh, we know 20 is less than 45. 45 is greater than 20. Difference of 20 and 45, we can say that is 25. Or 20 minus 45 is minus 25. 45 minus 20 is 25. Different way, Namuka Parambata, different ways in Namuka the Parambata. Compare a number, compare a Okay. One number we cannot compare. One boy we cannot compare. Two boys we can compare, good and best. Two flowers we can compare. One we cannot. So, here 20 and 45. Comparison by division is. That is ratio. Ratio means comparison by division. Listen here. 20 divided by 45 and dividing by 5. 4, 5 is 20. 9, 5 is 45. 4 by 9. 4 is to 9. That is the ratio. 4 is to 9. You know how to read that because class says we study the ratio. Now, another one. Many examples. 77 by 7, 11 by 1. That means 11 is 2, 1. Suppose 10 divided by 10 divided by 10. We know this is 1 by 2. That is 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2. Price of truth in 10 rupees and 20 rupees. What is the ratio of the prices? 10 and 20. It is not hard for you to study. One is to two. Or many things are there. 100 divided by 50. What is that? Cut, cut and put, put. We are getting that. Two. What is the ratio? We can write two means two by one or one is here. That is two is to one. Remember ratio. Not one is to two. 1 is to 2 means half. 2 is to 1 means double. 2 is to 1. So don't confuse fraction in between fraction. Fraction means part by 4. This is a fraction. 5 by 10 is a fraction. This is half. 5 part out of 10 but that is half. But ratio means part by part. Fraction means part by whole. 
you are dividing a chocolate 10 parts and you are eating 5 parts or half. But ratio means part by part. 5 parts of a chocolate and 15 parts of another one that we can compare. That means parts by parts. Ratio means parts by parts. Here, 1 is to 3. This is 1 is to 3. Rough idea I'm giving. Fraction. Fraction means part by part. Ratio means part by part. Or comparison of numbers by division. I think this page is clear for it. It is a page number 1. Now, second page. What I am telling you. Second page, what I am doing here. Listen. Percentage. Percentage. What is the relation? What is the difference? What is the connection, percentage, and fraction? Fraction, I told you, fraction means part by four. Yes, part by four. Now come to percentage. Percentage is a fraction of denominator is 10, 100, 1000, like that. That means 37 by 100. Here 100 is the denominator. 0 0.37, two decimal place, two zero. 9 by 10, 0 0.9. 1,234 divided by 1,000, 1 1.234. 1.234. This is called percentage. Don't confuse fraction and percentage. Look here, 3 by 5 is a fraction. It is not a percentage. It is a fraction. Okay, lowest from fraction part by whole. A cake, three parts. You are eating out of five parts. That is it. Now, how can we make this percentage? The denominator must be 100 or 10. Can we make denominator 10? Yes. 3 by 5, I can write into. Into what number? Into 2. Here also into 2. Numerator and denominator, we have to multiply by the same number. Yes? So, that means 6 by 10. 3 by 5 means 6 by 10. So our work is over, denominator is 10. That means 1, 0, 0 0.6. Are you following or not? Percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. Now, the denominator is 100. Sorry, percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 100. I'm talking about decimal. So here, let me come to the decimal. Then only we can come to the percentage. Percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 100, not 1,000. It's all for decimal. Now I'm taking up, let me round this one. Listen here. Here. This all, it is decimal, but I am talking about percentage. A, B, C. D, A, B, C. This is decimal. Because I have to tell decimal before percentage. Percentage means a fraction whose denominator is 100. Now, 3 by 5. We express in decimal. Now, what do you mean percentage? Okay, fine. Before that, let me explain decimal. I am percentage, I am explaining decimal, before the decimal. Then only I can go to the percentage. Decimal, this is third one. Second one, I am talking about decimal. Decimal is a fraction whose denominator is 10, 100, 1000, etc. Look here, denominator is 100 here. Denominator is 10, denominator is 1000 or 10,000. So a decimal is a fraction 
whose denominator is, let me, denominator, decimal is a fraction. Percentage is a fraction, don't confuse. Decimal is a fraction. Denominator is 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000. Example of decimal I wrote here, decimal. Understand? So 37 by 100, 0.37. 9 by 10, 0 0.9. 1,234 by 1,000, 1 1.234, 3 by 5. How can I express 3 by 5 decimal? I can make this 5, 10, 5 into 2, 10. So, numerator and denominator, we have to multiply by same number. 6 by 10, 0 0.6. Now, another example, D, E, another example, red color. Suppose this is... 2 by 5. Okay, no problem. We can make it. That I can say 2 by 5. Again into 2. 4 by 10. That means 0 0.4. It is clear? Okay. So our denominator is coming. Another A, B, C, D, E. Another way I'm talking about E, F. Numerator is 3, denominator is 4. What to do? Can I make 4, 10? No. So what to do? You have to make 10 or 100 or 1000. Into 4 into 2, 8. No, 10 is not possible. Try 100. 100 divided by 4, that is 25. 4 into 25. So 3 into 20. 3 by 4, that means 75 by 100. This is a decimal. 75 by 100, that means 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Like this, we can do many things. Make decimal, make the denominator 10, make the denominator 100. So, two decimal place. What is the decimal? Denominator is 10, 100, 1000. One decimal place, two decimal place, three decimal place, like that. After that, in class 7, we are talking about percentage. I think you understood decimal. Now, what is percentage? Percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 100. Denominator must be 100. Here, denominator is 100, 75 by 100. Now I am talking about percentage. All of it is in here. Third one. Percentage. percentage. That we can see this, this percentage. This is the notation percentage. Percentage. Percent. Percentage means per hundred. Everything out of hundred that is percentage. Suppose you got... 37 mark and another boy got 45 mark and 75 mark. This is out of 50. 37 out of 50. And 75 out of 100. And 45 out of 60. Listen here carefully. Or this ability. How can we compare? Total confusion. 18 out of 24. That is why we are using percentage. Per 100. Per 50. Per 100. Per 25. All are confused. I got 37 out of 51 boys telling. Another girl is telling, I got 18 by 25, out of 25. Another is telling, I got 75 out of 100. So, total confusion. Suppose this is 72 out of 100. Or 73, I don't want 75. So, when I make it, this 73 out of 100. 
that is why we are using percentage your total confusion is there. suppose in class 7 another a vip came a president of the panchayat something came there so what is your mark they are asking boys tell me or girls tell the marks in mathematics one is telling 37 out of 50 one is telling 18 out of 25 one is telling 73 out of 100 total confusion that is why so the principal told explain everything out of 100 so that is why we have to express in percentage that is the use of percentage common we can understand the thing very easily 75 percentage 80 percentage 90 percentage 40 percentage 50 percentage mark or salary something we can take okay percentage increase now in this example you can see 37 out of 50 immediately make it percentage 37 out of 50 that means you have to make the denominator 100 into 2 into 2 that means 74 by 100 Per hundred means seventy four per hundred means seventy four percentage. This Fatima got seventy four percentage. Now Ahmad Ahmad got seventy three percent. There is no confusion. He got seventy three percent. Now here another Rahul, Rahul got 18 out of 25. How can you do 18 out of 25? Our method is 18 by 25. Sir, make it 100. How can you make 100? 25 into 400, 18 times 4. That means this is 100 out of 100. 18, 36, 72. I can say this is 72%. Now it is very clear 37 out of 50, 74 percentage is better than 73 percent in NASP down and last is 72 percent. This is the way we can find out percentage. This is the beauty of percentage. If anybody is coming to your class, okay, 74 percentage, 72 percentage, 73 percentage. Very fast, you can understand who is better. Are you following on? Now, here also, easy method is the for thinking like this. Same example, 37 by 50, 73 by 100, and 74 by 100 percentage. What I am telling you, percentage is per 100, and what is the use of this percentage also, I explain. To me, to understand the data very clearly, very easy information, very easily. Okay. Now here, look here, 37 by 50, 73, and 18. And writing it again, is that 18 out of 24, 70. 3 out of 100, there is no confusion. And 37, I think 37 out of 50. Now, very easily, you can change into percentage. Yes, as I told, into 2, into 3, into 2, like that we can do. But more easily, we can express percentage. That means here. <laughs> 18 by 25 18 by 25 so multiply with hundreds when a fraction is there to change fraction is the percentage multiply the fraction with percent with 100 and write your under percent <laughs> that means percentage means press 100 we cannot multiply 100 100 by 100 100 by 100 means 100 percentage. Do you agree? Here also first step to write multiply with 
100 by 100. That means 18 by 25 into 100 per 100 means percentage. Now this 25 and 100 you can cut. How many times for? So 18 into 4 percentage. Percentage you are right. 18, double of 1836, that means 72, we got 72 percent. 18 by 25 means 72 by 72 percent, this is easy method. Whenever fraction is there, to change the fraction in the percentage, you have to multiply by 100 percent. Here also into 100, that is correct. Out of 100 means cut percentage, 73 percent. Now here, 37 by 50 into 100 percentage. We now cut, cut to 37 into 2, 74 percent. Earlier also we got the answer. Now also we got the answer. 74 percentage is better than 72 percentage at least. I think you understood this. What I am telling you? How can we change a fraction into percentage? Fraction into percentage. Your textbook you can see. Into fraction into percentage. Textbook first thing is meaning of percentage. I told you then percentage when not total is 100, we can make total 100. That means after the converting fractional numbers to percentage. Converting fraction, converting fraction numbers into percentage. Everything we can change. We can amass full means 100%. One chocolate, 100%. That means one. 100 by 100, 100 out of 100. Or we can say 100 by 100. Full means full, 100 by 100, 100 percent. Two means two by one into 100 percent, 200 percent. Remember this one. Two means 200 percent, double 200 percent. Two into 100 percent is 200 percent. That is double. Full means one. Imagine full means one hundred percent. I got full. I ate full mango. I ate full cake. One full cake. I got full mark. That is hundred percent. Now what do you mean by half? Half means we can do half into hundred percent. Percentage you are right. We call hundred by hundred. That means we study that we can cut this is and this 50. 50 percent means half, very clear. Any doubt? Okay. So 1 by 4 is a fraction 1 by 4 into 100 percent. That means 100 divided by 4, we know that is really 25. 25 fourths are 100. That means 25 percentage is 1 by 4. Now, what about 3 by 4? Just we did 3 by 4. Convert 3 by 4 into percentage. That means 3 by 4 into 100 by 100, 100 percent. You can cut this one 104, we did before 24. That means 75 percentage. Every fraction we can change into percentage. Understand? That is why I'm telling fraction, percentage, decimal, all are same. All are same. Decimal is a fraction whose denominator is 10, 100, 1000, or 10,000 like. But percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 100. 
Raksham is part by God. Now another one, anything we can change, any number we can change. Suppose, seven by five in the percentage. What to do? Seven by five into hundred. That means we know this 20. 20. 140% more than 100%, 140%. So when to support. All of you now write this one. Please write what I told. First I told this one, chapter 7. Comparing quantities. Comparing quantities. Comparison of numbers by division. That means lowest term you have to explain, you have to express by division and comparing. Then after that, what I told you, fraction. Fraction means part by whole. Yes. I explain fraction. Fraction means part by whole, part by whole. Fraction means part by whole. Then after that, decimal, two out of five is a fraction. One out of four, that is a fraction. Now decimal, I told decimal. Decimal is a fraction. Decimal is a fraction. So is this a decimal? Yes, decimal is a fraction. Denominator is 10, 100, 1000, or 10,000. Decimal is a fraction. Denominator is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, like that. So 2 by 4. So change the decimal into fraction. Sorry, fraction into decimal. Fraction. Denominator must be 10, 100 like. So do into 10. No, sorry, into 100. This method. Whenever fraction is there to change percentage, sorry, to change decimal, what you have to do? Not 100% is for decimal and percentage always confusion. Now what I am doing? Yeah, I can make here yeah, into one number. Okay, into 10 I can multiply. 10 by 10 is 1 into 10. That means here into 10, you can cut this 1, 2. So, so into 10 we cannot cut. Into 10 by 10, that means don't do that method. We have to do here. How can you make 5, 10 into 2? Into 2. That means 4 by 10. 4 numerator and denominator, we can multiply the same number. 4 by 10. Now that is 0, 4 and 4. Is a decimal. Denominator is 10, 100 like that. Look. Suppose here another number is there. 3 by 3 by 4. I cannot make this 10. What do I can make this 100? 4 into 2500. So 3 into 2500. This is 75 by 100. That is 0 0.75. Two decimal place. Two decimal places percentage is 75 percentage. You can see the relation there. Okay. So fraction, part by whole. Decimal, whole must be 10, 100 like the denominator must be. 10, 100,000 like that one. Now, another one we we'll talk about. What is that? 
percentage fraction into per percentage the mass full means 100 percentage one means full one chocolate one cake that is under by 100 two means 200 percentage half means 50 percentage one by four 25 percentage three by four mukkal means 75 percentage now seven by four to convert a fraction into percentage multiply by 100 percent to convert a fraction into percentage, listen. Fraction into percentage or fraction into not 100 percentage. I'm talking about fraction into percentage. What are you to do? 3 by, about 3 by 10. Into 10 is already decimal. Correct? And write decimal percentage. 10, 10. That means 30 percentage. This is by 25. This is marked out of 25. Very poor. That is into 100 percentage. The percentage we can find out. This 125, we can cut 4, 25, 100. This is the 4, 24 percentage. Whatever the fraction to change into percentage, we have to multiply by 100 percent. Easier. In the minus like tomorrow we will talk about decimal to percentage, percentage into fraction, like that things are there. So, understand carefully how can we change fraction into percentage. Any fraction, any fraction doesn't matter, any fraction. Suppose, in a class, another example, in a class, there are 12 girls out of Twelve girls out of twelve girls and thirteen boys. Twelve girls and thirteen boys. All of you write this question. In a class, in class seven, in class seven, in a class. Question is clear. In a class, in question one statement, in class seven B, there are twelve boys, twelve girls, and thirteen boys. Find first one ratio of girls to boys, girls to boys. Second one. Boys is to girls. Boys is to girls. Third one. Percentage of percentage of percentage of girls. Now, fourth one, percentage of boys. Are you following or not? Ratio of girls to boys, boys to girls, percentage of girls, percentage of boys. And last one, ratio of, ratio of 
boys to children, total children, total children. All of you, please do this one. Please do this. One. If you can do, you can. You understood this. One. Ratio girls to boys, tell me what is the answer one? Answer. Tell me what is the answer one? Ratio girls to boys. How many girls? Thirteen. Thirteen to twelve. Correct. Girls first and boys. That means thirteen is to twelve. We cannot divide. Second one. Boys is to girls. That means boys how much? Twelve. Twelve is to thirty. Now third one. Percentage of girls. All of you please listen here. Percentage of girls means out of total. Percentage. Total children. How much? Total children you have to. Total is equal to 25 children. So, percentage of girls. Girls, how many? 12 girls and 13 boys. 12 by 25 into 100 percentage. What is the answer? Is you can cut. 425 are 100. Then 12, 24. So, 48 percentage, 48 percentage. Are you following on? We got 48 percentage girls. Third one, percentage of girls. Now, percentage of boys. That we can do. Very easy, the percentage of. More easily we can do. 48 percentage are girls, the percentage of boys. Total is 100. 100 percentage. That means 48 are girls under minus 48. That means 52 percentage are boys. Correct or not? What we did? Percentage of girls. Look the question again. Okay. Okay, no problem. Listen. Total is 100 percentage. If it is 100 percentage, what is the percentage of boys? Girls, we you know 48 percentage. If girls are 48 percentage, under minus 48, that means 52 percentage. Or we you know 13 by 25. Total children 25. 13 are boys into 100. 100 percentage. We can cut this one. 125 again for so 13, 26. 13 into 4 percentage. That means 52 percentage. We both the method. Last question. What is the last question? Ratio of Ratio of, tell me ratio of girls to total, okay. Ratio of girls to total. That means girls is to total. Girls 13, or girls 12, I think, 12. Out of 25 into 
No, not into Y, into, into, into not percentage. What happened to him? This is 12 by 25. That means 12 is to 24. What is ratio of boys is to total? Boys is to total. That means 13 is to 24. I think it is clear. Any doubt is there? You can, you can ask me now. What I told you, should I explain about comparison of numbers by division? Ratio, first I told ratio. About 3 is to 4. That is 3 by 4. That is ratio. Then this is a fraction. Decimal, I told decimal. Decimal. 3 by 4. Decimal form of 3 by 4. Decimal form of decimal of 3 by 5. That means 3 by 5 into 2 into 2. 6 by 10, that is 0 0.6. Then 3 by 5 again into percentage. If you want to change a fraction into percentage, into 100 percentage, that means cut, cut. That means 20, 3 into 20 percentage, that means 60 percentage. I think you understood the concept. Okay, tomorrow we will talk about percentage to fraction, decimal to fraction, everything we can do tomorrow, inshallah. Okay then, bye.